right, here we are in a running and driving video, video of our uh, beautiful 77 uh, original owner, uh, K10 Suburban 4x4. See all the lights are working. Got the four way flashers going. Had it warmed up right here for a little bit. So you can see it's just running nice and smooth. AC compressor's working. No belt squeal. I mean, it's just zero exhaust leaks, cold or warm. I mean, it is just runs as good as it did new I mean it's it's quite as a sewing machine but um we did uh, you know tune up had a fuel pump done um, stuff like that you see the four-way flasher it's got a nice little rumble to it it's got that killer little 350 sound so I don't think a uh, dual exhaust was original so he probably put that on there this sounds great. Not a lot to uh, go over on this one, you know, it's an oldie. But you know, all the, all the windows go up and down nice and smooth. Wing windows are really nice and tight. You can see there's no bushing. And they're, I don't know if they've ever been open because they are tight. I mean, they're not going to be flopping around at all. Of course, you know, when all the doors lock. I showed you already the switch works from the the uh, exterior one, so I'll do the interior one when we hop in there. I mean, they're really nice and tight. They're not sloppy. You get these things out of alignment, you know, on the older trucks, um, which I mean just shows kind of uh, the miles original in this thing. Because yeah, they will get out of whack, you know, and then though you go to roll them up and they'll tilt and they get all bound up and people will just muscle them and bust up the the mechanism inside this is really tight so I don't think that one has ever been open but if you plan on using those you might want to grease it up a little bit all right so here's the switch That's it. It runs nice and smooth. Let's go ahead and turn off the four ways. It does have tilt steering. Nice and smooth. There's no slop in that. E-brake works good. We'll put it on. Um, put the e-brake on. You can see we're not going. Pop it off and we're rolling. So the with the aftermarket AC, you actually run your fan through here. Um, this doesn't run the blower speed. But it is all still intertwined with these things, so if you want the heat and all that stuff. Um, got new wipers on there. It is a little dry out, so I don't want to put any marks, especially on that original windshield. Um, you got seat belts for six as is. If you want to throw the third row seat in there and get this, don't have the seat belts for that though. Um, so all right, oh yeah, original horn works. Oil pressure. Temps coming up, bolts are looking good. We're gonna go ahead and hit the open road. It's a shift on the fly uh, system here, so you can just high down. Um, the sun's peeking out here a little bit. But we'll get going. Hopefully, we can get on the highway. Um, get up to some highway speeds. Tires, of course, ride like a dream. They're just smooth as can be. They're more a highway tire. You know, like I mentioned, if it was gonna be a keeper for me, I'd probably put some. Uh, you know, some 33 inch BFGs on this thing. Um, I love the way they look with the 35, but it being just driving so good and so untouched and original, it's, uh, I'd have a hard time busting that off. But I did order a lift kit and then talked myself out of it. So if you want a lift kit, I got a brand new one in the box um, that you can buy from me. Otherwise, I'm gonna keep it for the next project. This thing's just too original for me. Um, so, uh, you know, the good thing about if you went up to a 31, 32, 33, um, or if you did put a little four inch lift on there and run 35, uh, you'd get a little bit more highway speed out of it. Um, right now it's good, it's got a turbo 350. You know, it uh, glides right along, but I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna get out on the highway and then I'm gonna take you off the highway and take you on this road that's just got some real tight 90s, 
um, but also I love it because it's got patches and there's been construction and there's you know it's not a well-traveled road so it's got potholes um, and you can just see how solid this truck is um, you can see by you know they call it a square body for a reason so uh, no matter what you do to this truck uh, no matter if it was new old uh, used or whatever it's always gonna get some wind noise you just can't shove a brick through the air and have it sail like a football so um, sun's peeking out here we'll get around the corner and uh, it'll go away, so uh, sorry about that. It's just you can't really pick the time of day. You just gotta hope there's no rain in this state. You can see it's got beautiful reflection off the paint of the hood. You know, square bodies, they always kinda, with the wind, the, the sheet metal on the hood kind of, kind of flops around a little bit, but uh, the hood is solid, the hood's not moving or anything like that. Uh, traffic's a little stiff here, but now you can see it's uh, rides really nice and smooth, nice and straight. The road's got a little bit of a crown to it. We'll go ahead and floor it. You can hear the downshift, upshifts again. Brakes really nice, straight and smooth. This is the road we're going to go on right over here, so I'm going to exit off. I'll hit the brakes a little bit. And all the lights work, of course, brake lights, something like that. It's just tough to show. You can see your little arrow light up. It's got good power. You know, it's everything you should really expect or want out of a stock 77 Suburban. You know, it's uh, but it just, you know, back in the day, I'd all be all about putting Flowmasters on it, probably open it, element air cleaner, but man, this thing just is so tight and runs so good, it just would be a shame. It's funny how times change and, and things change you too when you get old. You know, it doesn't pull or shake or anything on the road. Here's the pothole, oh, right here in the middle. It just takes, oh, it's terrible. I mean, it just, just takes it nice. You don't have any of that undercarriage rattle of like metal hitting that tingy or anything like that I mean, all the ball joints i mean nothing's brand new underneath there but nothing needs to be replaced it drives killer you know no ball joint clunking you don't have a worn out steering box so we're going to come up you'll see a little sign of the 90s there and you can see this is the nice new black top and it's just like butter you can see even the difference in the truck, how it drives. So coming in this tight one, and you'll see it's just got nice resistance. I just love the skinny steering wheel on these things, the rim of them. You know, if someone has really got that wheel cranked, you know that steering box is toast. One thing I probably would add on this truck is just for preventive maintenance is, a, you know, the steering box brace. Just like the hood, they have the square bodies have their issues, but um, if you're just going to treat this thing like the original owner did, you probably really don't need to worry about it. Just nice, just nice quarter turn on the steering wheel gets you going 90. All right, nice little 90, and then click her down into four wheel drive, and off you go. You can just click her back in. Uh, so it's too high. If you want to go into four low, you got to come to a stop for safety reasons, and you got to put it in neutral and click her in, and you're good to go. So if you guys need any additional videos, oh, and you can see the high beam working correctly. High beams are still on the floor on this one, and then you click it and it goes out. It's a little blue lights. Fuel gauge is working good. Shifter's nice and tight. Uh, so all right, everybody, good luck. No reserve. Super hard to find 77 Suburban 4x4.